Oh yeah. So to start with this DIY, I got these two fish bowls from the pound shop. These are plastic, but you can get glass ones, but I have children, so plastic was the better alternative. So I'm just going to take off these two sticky tags at the bottom. They should just peel right off, but if not, just soak them in warm soapy water and they'll peel off really easily. So I'm just going to remove both of my tags, my pom-poms and my super glue, and I'm just going to glue my pom-poms around the inner circumference of my bowl to create a snow light look. You can use any kind of pom-poms for this, um, even cotton balls will work just fine. So just putting a generous amount of glue down and sticking them down. Going on to decorations now, I have these little nutcrackers that I got from the pound shop and I'm just going to cut off the string that you would usually hang it with and pop that in the snow line. I have left the inner part of the bowl clear so that it'll be easier for me to glue my ornaments down. I also have this little post box which again was a hanging ornament but I've already cut off the, the string for that. So I'm just going to plane around with them, seeing roughly where I want them to sit. I also got this uh, multi-pack of different types of baubles uh, from Home Bargains. It was still a pound and I'm just going to take these little drums, I'm only going to take one of them, and uh, pop it in between my little dude and post boxes. I thought that was quite cute. And now I'm just going to glue them down using my super glue. Okay, so my super glue wouldn't glue my ornament down, so I'm just going to use my hot glue gun to glue it down instead. So that's my little guys glued in nice and securely now and it looks something like this and I'm now just going to take these window stickers that I got from the pound shop and they just look like beautiful little snowflakes and I'm just going to glue them around the sides and back of my bowl leaving the front part bare so you can still see inside. Stuck down my snowflakes on the inside of my bowl again just around the sides and back, leaving the front part bare. I'm going to add some snowdrops to that later, but for the moment I'm just going to put it to the side and move on to my second bowl. So again, I got some decorations again from the pound shop. So I've got a little Santa Claus and a little tree, and I'm just going to be popping them in this bowl here. So I'm going to be doing it a little differently this time. I'm going to be gluing the decorations in first. I'm just going to take these tags and ribbon off, as I don't want those in my bowl. Okay, so that's my ornaments now ready and my pom-poms ready for later and I'm just going to pop them in to see roughly where I want them to sit and I'm just going to take that selection pack again and this time I'm taking little presents that I got with it and I'm just going to pop them in to see roughly where I want them to sit and I'm now going to glue those into place. So that's my ornaments all glued in where I want them and I'm just going to do the same thing as before taking my pom-poms and gluing them in right around my ornaments except for around my presents. I was all glued into place, I'm going to do the same as before and take my little snowflakes and just stick them in again around the sides and the back, leaving the front part open so you can still see inside. So I'm just peeling them off and sticking them on the inside so they're nice and secure. This is what it looks like. And now I'm just going to create some snowdrops using just regular Tipex. I'm just going to take the sponge and press it very lightly to create little snowdrops. And I'm going to do this all over the bowl in between all my snowflakes just to give it that finishing snowdrop look. So I went ahead and did that to both my bowls and now I'm just going to pop one on top of the other and make sure that both pictures are facing forward and then I'm going to take my hot glue gun and go right around the rim of the lower bowl and then stick the top one on top. Like I said, I'm just going to take my hot glue gun and I'm just going to go right around the rim of the lower bowl and making sure my pictures are both facing forward I'm going to glue the top bowl onto it. You can use super glue or any kind of heavy duty glue for this, but I'm just going to use my hot glue gun since it's already set up. They're glued together. I'm just taking my wire ribbon to create my little snowman scarf. You can use a piece of fabric for this. I like the idea of having a little gold piece of ribbon for a scarf. So I'm just kind of playing around with it to see how I wanted it. I knew that I wanted it to cross over, but I wasn't sure how to do this and still make my bottom ornaments visible, which obviously I wanted. So I'm just gonna glue it into place and then I'm gonna play around with it some more to see where I want it. So it does take some jiggery pokery, but just keep at it and you will get it the way you want it. So I ended up with this, a sort of windswept look for my scarf. 
and the way I got this was I just brought it over into a cross and then brought it right back over itself and just sort of pulled the wires to make it the one out look. So I'm just going to move on to the hat and I got this in the pet section of the Pound World and I'm just going to cut off the little ear tag things, I don't know what they are really, but the things that attach it to a dog, I'm going to cut those off and I'm just going to glue it around the top of my bowl. Again, super glue will work just fine for this and I'm just going to stick it down into place and that's here's my finished snowman and i hope you guys like it i love it i hope you give it a go and if you do let me know on instagram and in the comments below and be sure to like share and subscribe see you soon bye